Hello everyone, it's me again. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you how to teach a closer look too. This slide below will show you what parts a uh, closer look too is based on. A closer look too is actually grammar part. There are always tasks to complete in each part. The objective of this section is to teach students some grammar points related to the lesson topic. And afterwards, there will be some tasks to help students practice grammar. Teaching this session includes grammar teaching and tasks. In grammar teaching part, we introduce the grammar points by using diagrams or lines to teach. And you need to make sure it is simple enough for them to understand. Then you can give examples and role play. Okay. Here's one of my examples. With tasks, I will do the first task for the sample. So the grammar today is about there is and there are. When you want to talk about the existence of something in somewhere or on somewhere, you use there is or there are. So let's talk about the question first, right? Say how many? Again. How many books? How many books are there? On the table. How many books are there on the table? Again. How many pens are there on the table? Pencil. Rulers. Notebooks. How many books are there in class? On the desk. On the chair. Under the chair. So how to answer? If there is one thing in somewhere or on somewhere, you use there is. But if there are two, more than two, or more than one thing, two and over two thing, you use there are. Okay, repeat after me. There is a book. There is a book on the table. Again. A chair. A pencil. A pen. A rubber. There are three books. There are three books on the table. Three pencils. Three pens. Two notebooks. Two cats. So now I'm going to ask Anne, can you answer the question? How many books are there on the table? How many books are there on the table? change it into negative form. Just put not after is or are. So there is a book on the table. You can say there isn't a book on the table. Or there, there aren't. And you put any at any books. Okay. So please repeat after me. There isn't a book on the table. Again. There isn't a pencil on the table. A pen. A ruler. A wrapper. There aren't any books. There aren't any books on the table. Pencils. Pens. Rubbers. And now, how to change it into a question. So you put to be before there. So there is into is there. There aren't are there. And question mark at the end. With there is, you can answer yes or no. Yes or no.
So yes, yes there is. And no there, there isn't. Yes there, there are. No there aren't. So repeat after me. Is there? Is there? Is there a book on the table? Again. Are there any books on the table? Again. What? What? Okay. Yes, there is. Again. No, there isn't. Again. Yes, there are. Again. No, there aren't. Again. So please answer my question with yes and no. Okay. Is there a book on the table? Is there a pencil on the table? Is there a cat in the room? Is there a girl in the classroom? Is there any are there any books on the table? Are there any books on the table? Are there any cats in the kitchen? Are there any pencils on the table? So that is all for the grammar there is and there are. You are moving to task one. Everyone, please open your book on page 19. Take a look at task one. Okay. There are five sentences. You are going to write is or are. So, is is for singular noun, so one thing. And are is for plural noun, means many things. Okay. You have one minute to write down the answer. Look at the board and give me the answer. There, there is. Very good. Uh, Miss Dark, can you say there? There are. Okay, how about number three? There are. Very good. Okay, and number four? There, there is. Number five? There, there are. Great job. So please look at the board and repeat after me. There is, again, there are, there is a sofa in the living room, again, there are two cats in the kitchen, again, there are posters on the wall, again, there is a ceiling fan in the bedroom, again, there are dishes on the floor, again, please answer my question. What is in the, in the living room? What are in the kitchen? What's on the, what are on the wall? What is in the bedroom? What, is on, what are on the floor? And that is all for the Closer Look 2 session. Good luck with your teaching and thank you for watching.